Well, NATO's chief thinks that the answer to Russian threats against Eastern Europe, threats, uh, is more military spending. Of course he does. I'm Ben Swan with your Truth in Media Moment. Thanks so much for watching. Pretty interesting story here, as NATO's chief, Anders Rasmussen's latest commentary reads much like every other commentary on really every other situation, even remotely NATO-themed. A plea for dramatic increases in military spending to modernize a fighting force that's already the overwhelming majority of the planet's armed forces. As far as NATO is concerned, there's always a reason for more military spending, but this time, the excuse is the Russian annexation of Crimea, which Rasmussen spun as a need for, quote, intensive training to confront Russia militarily, and a major hike in deployments to Eastern Europe for defense. Never mind the fact that Crimea voted to secede from Ukraine and join Russia. Even so, though, it does raise the question, how much military spending do NATO countries already commit to versus the Russians? Well, consider this. The United States alone in 2012 spent nearly $700 billion on military spending. Compare that to the $90 billion in 2012 that Russia spent on military. $700 billion to $90 billion? Okay, not even close. But remember, the NATO chief is asking for all NATO countries to increase spending. NATO is an alliance that consists of 28 independent member countries. According to the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute, NATO countries in 2012 spent over $990 billion on military. That means that they outspent the Russians by $900 billion, almost $1 trillion more in military spending. So how much more do we need? To call it lunacy is not, not even enough. It's opportunism. And the neocon hope for a new Cold War, that's what we're really doing battle with here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out all of our Truth in Media videos at BenSwan.com, where humanity is greater than politics.